Hey there, welcome back to Let's Grow Stuff. My name is Quantice and I'm here at my garden plot at Troy Community Gardens. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a relationship that's really special to me. My relationship with weeds and more importantly, how I deal with or don't deal with them. You ready? Let's grow stuff. I've experimented a lot and have noticed benefits to letting some weeds have their way. Like how the diversity and amount of insects increased in my garden and how my garden actually grew more because I had these beneficial insects eating the pest and increasing pollination. I also noticed that my soil health improved. It was moist and aerated and full of worms. Some weeds can actually fertilize your garden. A great example of this is mugwort. Mugwort is a sweet smelling plant I discovered in my garden this year. After doing some research, I found that it can help prevent soil erosion, pull heavy metals out of your soil, and provide nutrients that may be lacking. So I weeded around it and let this plant have its moment. Some other beneficial weeds are dandelions, white clover, broadleaf plantain, chicory, and burdock. Now I know what you're thinking. I still can't let weeds take over my garden. And I agree. So let me show you how I get rid of weeds when I feel it's necessary. Primarily, the main way that I control weeds in my garden is by mulching. And Ben has a whole video breaking this down. So if you wanna learn more, check it out. Sometimes mulching isn't enough. In areas of my garden where I don't want any weeds whatsoever, I have to block the sunlight completely. And my favorite material to do this with is burlap. It's thick enough to block sunlight and any weeds growing underneath can't get through. Check out your local coffee shop and see if they have any burlap coffee bags to give away or sell. You can also get creative and use other materials. A few weeks ago, I found some roof tiles and they've been great for making pathways in my garden. Just do some research to make sure you aren't introducing toxic materials into your space. Next time you get out to your garden, take a little time to get to know those plants before you pull them up. You might find that they're a friend and not a foe. It was great having you in my garden. Don't forget to check out more episodes and our blog at pbswisconsin.org slash Let's Grow Stuff. See ya. Funding for Let's Grow Stuff is provided by Ganshirt Nursery and Landscapes the Focus Fund for Wisconsin Programs, and Friends of PBS Wisconsin.